Jamie Haywood, a uh, patient like me, who does have to take the lead in healthcare? Well, you know, healthcare is a complex space, and you know, there are a variety of places where, quite frankly, the patient's going to have to take the lead and drive that. That's sort of long term conditions, managing that, figuring out how to manage the, the, the aging process. I think that's going to have to be patient led. The, the system itself that does acute care and takes care of people in the hospital, you know, that's going to have to be led by hospitals that really drive and think about outcomes and transformative change. And then the last part, which is sort of health itself, you know, I think there's a real dialogue that has to go on right now is that what's the right role of society and community and the individual in figuring out how to build a healthy life? And, and those are three very different problems, and, and we, 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 we screw things up when we confound them. So, you know, I, so the patient that has a condition that's making their life better, they have to take significant responsibility and be met by resources by the system. But I think the other two parts we have to think through as a world, how we really make sure we deliver good value across the board. Okay, so for when you talk to a healthcare, deliver, uh, people who deliver healthcare, what, what could they change? Uh, well, you know, <sighs> The, 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 there's there's a variety of things that have to change, but the, but the, the simplest one is just a mentality shift, which is that, that 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 healthcare has grown up in a culture of believing it knew what to do, and that it should verify that it's doing what it knows, and that's actually just not true anymore. It doesn't really know how to use complex technologies and complex solutions. It, it, it needs to learn to learn. It needs to become a learning system and think of its product as something that evolves continuously. And that's a very different structure. And that largely involves, you know, one of the biggest shifts is it's not about making sure the right doctor is meeting the right patient, which is the healthcare model now. It's about making sure the system understands the needs of the patient and is holistically addressing them by measuring that it meant them. And that's, that's a very big shift in the way a hospital, hospital system thinks. Yeah. And do you see differences, in, for instance, between the United States, uh, UK, and the Netherlands? Is, or is it the same question, essentially? Um, I mean, the economics drive different problems and weaknesses in each system. You know, there, there are, uh, that are strengths and weaknesses to each of the different models. But I actually, um, I, I think the fundamentally they all share the same problem, which is that they don't really measure the result they want to accomplish. And you know, and whether you're working in a bureaucratic and, and socialist system like the NHS, or whether you're working in a commercial, you know, and profit-driven system like the U.S., um, without knowing what your goal is, neither system can really move towards it. And and that's that's the shift. You, know, you got to know what is it. What's your what are you trying to do, and did you accomplish it? Yeah, and you have to measure. Well, everything. I mean, everything. you got to you got to measure. You and know, you have to have an infrastructure that that you can use these data. Uh, yeah, though, though I think the there's a there's a mistake that believing that the technology will drive the change. I think this is largely a cultural commitment to running the institution in a different way. Technology will be implemented to support the institution's objectives. Technology will not be implemented when they don't. And so, regardless of the cost benefits and the reduction in cost of technology and its ability. What really matters is changing what you want. And, and the role of citizens is crucial. The role of citizens is crucial and, and, taking, <laughs> and taking real leadership in that context. Thank you very much. Thank you.